Oh man, oh today is the day. Guys, I am here, I'm excited. My name is Mariah Bunk. Please make sure y'all subscribe. This is a No Leg Room production. We gonna get right into it because today we got something real interesting. I'm actually gonna be giving this away. We're gonna be playing a game today. This is by The Skin Deep. Make sure y'all follow them on YouTube, Instagram, whatever platform they got going. Honestly, I'm so excited because I, this is a little nerve wracking. Like the game we're playing today, I'm gonna go ahead and read it to y'all so y'all can know what's going on. And then we are gonna get right into it. Welcome to the end. You're now entering a space to explore the relationship with yourself, a relationship that's easily overlooked, yet incredibly important. We're excited to have you here. As far as the experience goes, the rules are simple. Number one, on a piece of paper, write down your intention, question, or dilemma at the moment. Number two, select a question randomly from the deck, write down your answers. Number three, continue choosing cards until you feel you've reached a conclusion. Number four, reread your answers, then save, burn, or bury the paper. Whew, intense. The following questions may not be exactly what they seem, but they will lead you to a new place with powerful answers that can help guide your way. Much love and enjoy the Skin Deep team. Ooh, let's get right into it. So, oh yeah, and I wanted to read this. This actually came in the deck. It says, rethink how you connect. Hashtag share humanity. We are the Skin Deep, an Emmy award-winning creative studio that explores human connection amidst a constantly growing digital landscape. Our purpose, to offer experiences that deepen relationships, stimulate conversation, and spark exploration of our humanity against an ever-changing backdrop of the world around us. Ooh, love that. Okay, so I already wrote down my intentions. Um, I'm not really gonna write down like my answers. I'm just gonna remember them and then I'll go back and then, um, you know, do the whole say, bury, burn thing. So yeah, let's get right into it. I don't wanna waste none of y'all time. Again, I'm gonna be giving this game away. I don't know if I said it or not yet, but I'm giving this away. So if you tag three of your friends, share the post, you know, I'm trying to get my YouTube up. So y'all subscribe, like I'm gonna be dropping content now. Like I'm not asleep, I'm not asleep no more, I'm woke. All right, so y'all go ahead, tag three friends. Somebody will get this before Christmas and then you'll be able to play it going into the new year. This is a wonderful game to play. Like New Year's, you know, resolutions type shit. This is the one. First question. Whew. Okay. Okay. What more can I learn in order to make a more informed decision? Mm. Wow. I think... That's a really good question because there's a lot more I could learn. You know, I'm all into connecting and learning from new people, other people, people that aren't like me, you know. What more can I learn in order to make a more informed decision? I think I need to study film more. Like, I watch films, but like actually going back and studying them. You know, when I was going to film school, my teacher always said like, look up your movie, your favorite movies. Go look at the scripts. Go look at how they wrote the scripts. And I'm like, that's smart. <laughs> A part of the filmmaking process is making sure you don't slack on audio and you have a really good like script. The rest of it is just lights, camera movements, action. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think that I think that would be good. Um, I'll go with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> they did, they had to take it here. What emotional weight am I carrying, and why am I carrying it? <laughs> emotional weight. Well, I'm gonna be real transparent with y'all. Like my, I lost two of my uncles this same year. Like I had never lost someone super close to me like that. And to lose both my uncles, like it really put a damper on like my happiness. You know, both of them, like I was just like, damn, two in one, bruh. I don't know. It just, it just really, it really did something to me. Um, so that's what I'm carrying right now. And I think that that's okay that I'm carrying, you know, sometimes we can carry stuff and that'd be cool. As long as we're acknowledging it, um, I don't see a problem. I don't think it should like affect my everyday routine, but yeah, it can because I need to stay consistent in, in what I do. So um, I think I need you got to take things like that and let it fuel you, you know, make you better. So that's what I'm into. So I'm, I'm okay with carrying that. That's cool. And number three, 
what am I going to miss out on by choosing this? Oh, I think it wants me to look at one of my intentions. Okay, so this is where I go to my little paper. Um, ooh, what am I going to miss out on by choosing this? This is going to sound crazy because my girl's going to watch this and flip the fuck out. But I told y'all I was going to be transparent. So I'm going to say it. I want to start saving for our wedding. You know, like my girl, she, she, I went and got her ring size. Like she knows it's coming. She don't know when. Obviously, she don't know. But that's what my plans are going into 2021. Start saving for our wedding. I want it to be awesome. I want it to be the wedding of her dreams. So, what am I gonna miss out on though? I'm gonna miss out on a lot of shit because I'm not gonna be spending money. <laughs> I'm gonna be saving it all. So, and also like scaling my business to make more money um that's important to me what am i gonna be missing out on i guess just like everyday shit like i'm gonna i'm gonna be locked in so i'm not really gonna be going out doing too much um traveling i'm still down to do that but you know you gotta compromise at that point like <laughs> i'm like i can't be traveling and trying to save money for a wedding i mean i could but then again i'm trying to get multiple streams of income so that way i don't have to just save i can just be always making money you feel me so yeah <laughs> okay how do i know when i am on the wrong path Whew. i know when i'm on the wrong path i start feeling it in my gut i'm like yo this ain't right something ain't right the vibe is off you know something is totally just not sitting well with me um you know i don't know if y'all know this but my i'm gonna go over my astrology chart real quick my son I'm a, I'm a capricorn my son is in capricorn my moon is in gemini and then my rising is in Scorpio. So if that doesn't scream intensity, I don't know what does. <laughs> um, but I, I know when I'm on the wrong path, when I'm just like, you know, not when I feel unsure about things, you have to build excitement around the things that you love. And, you know, when I'm not excited about something, I'm like, eh, am I going to give this 100 percent? I don't know. You know, I used to be a background actor. I was doing background acting for a long time. That was cool. That shit was fun. But. I think I was doing it for the wrong reasons. Is this beneficial for me and the people around me? And like, first and foremost, if it's, if it's not making me better, then should I really be doing it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, not everything has to be in that. I don't have to do everything to like so that's self-serving in that way. But if I choose to, like, if I want, if I want to get better, I got to stay consistent. I got to make sure these things are good for me and my mental health. And point blank, period. I'm not about to like just be out here like, you know. It's all willy-nilly. Like, everything has purpose. All right, all right. Anyway, moving on to the next question. Oh, I like this one. What has fueled me till now, and how does that hinder me from moving forward? Ooh, this is a real, real transparent moment again. Um, what has fueled me? I think, I think what has really fueled me the most is my desire to not be like normal, like to not have normal images, to not have normal videos. I'm not looking for shortcuts. I'm not looking for a faster way to do it. There's, cause there's a, there's definitely a faster way of doing this shit, you know? But I wanna learn along the way. Like I don't want to just take a picture and go viral and then the next day I'm like shooting with someone super famous. Like I wanna be able to enjoy the process along the way. Like. I love shooting ordinary people. I love shooting everyday people. I love shooting people who I personally know. Um, I love helping them bring that confidence because you know, what I really learned about photography is the images that you're taking, they say more about you than they do about the model. And if you can remember that at the end of the day, you're gonna, you're gonna do a lot more for that model. You know, my job is to bring that sense of confidence to the model or to whoever needs these images. So whatever vision that you have of yourself, I'm here to bring that to life. And I want to help you do that. I want to help you see that in you. Um, I think it's cool, like us giving people perspectives that maybe they possibly have never seen of themselves, like other sides that they haven't really noticed. Um, so, yeah, you know, photography is fun in so many ways because it's a it's a permanent medium. When you take a picture, you officially have that moment forever. It's the only thing that can stop time. 
think about that like that's why i love photography you know in my next episode on youtube i'm probably going to talk about like the psychology of photography and just talk all day about that because it's really fascinating what photography does and what it can do for us um so yeah i don't want to trail off but i just love it so what does fuel me to now and how does that hinder me from moving forward i don't know if it like hinders me from moving forward um but what fueled me was just that desire to like not again not be just complacent um it, ha it hasn't really hindered me it's just it's really just helped me um maybe it's hindered me by not wanting to work with people who maybe just have like basic average ideas but that shouldn't stop me either because i should help them like see like yo you got this but let me show you this like i know you want that but i got something way nicer over here like if you just hear me out and you know i think that we got to stop being selfish in a way like as photographers we got we gotta like let people know like your shit is solid but i've been doing this let me show you something else real quick you know what i'm saying in a nice way like in a, in a way that's just like respecting them and like what they what they bring to the table because everybody brings something to the table and just offering up a little bit more that's our that's your job is to like enhance enhance the experience so woo, that was a long answer <laughs> this might be my last one okay have i really truly tried everything no but i did try a lot of things <laughs> and you know you gotta try you gotta try shit and see what works for you man like you gotta try it. You gotta try it. I'm, I'm not against trying new stuff. Like, trust me. I, I never did like no serious drugs, like heroin or whatever, but I've tried a lot of things. I've tried, you know, y'all don't even wanna know. <laughs> you know, sexually, whether it be personally, um, you know, just trying to move to a new place. Like, I've tried a lot of shit. And I can honestly tell you, I'm so glad I love trying new things because there's a lot of things that I love that I would have never thought I would have. I promise you, like, I, I there's a lot of things I was like, it's not for me, bro. It's not for me. And I tried it and I was like, ooh, OK, this, this is mm, this, let me let me see. It's it's a community of these motherfuckers out here. Like we we meet each other and like we just like it's. You got to try things, bro. Just trust me on this. If you're not out here trying new stuff, you think you got it all figured out. You like what you like. You do what you do. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. And I promise you, if you just open up that mind of yours, just become a little bit more open minded about things and you will discover there's a whole nother world out there than whatever you thought was Gucci. <laughs> you know. All right. I'm going to do one more. One more. One more. <laughs> list all things I am still unsure of there's a lot of things I'm unsure of and to be honest with you like I could list shit all day I'm, I'm unsure of government I'm unsure of you know social media I'm unsure and why the reason I say social media is because like you can pay for people to view your shit like you don't even have to like I, I watch videos all day. It has like 19,000, 19,000 views, hundreds of thousands of views. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? How did you get this many? They did not organically like these niggas ain't organic because like you buying all this stuff like you do what you do. I don't care because niggas going to look at stuff and know if it's like solid or not. But I don't know. Like I'm unsure of a lot of the way that um, even like here's a here's a good example. Let me let me bring this up. You ever notice when you look up something like I was looking up dogs the other day because my girl really wants a dog. I look up dogs. Then day I, the next day I get on Instagram, all my explore, um, explore pages of dogs. bro. I'm like, I searched dogs one time and y'all like, niggas just just push, push, push. Like they're they're forming our narrative. They're forming like the things that they think we like, which is cool, like in a way. But it also can like just like hurt you, too. Um, cause then now that's all you're thinking about, you know, and like you become obsessed with it and which is okay, but I think it could potentially be dangerous. Um, one book I recommend y'all to read is called the surveillance of, of, um, what is it called? Oh, the age of surveillance capitalism. Duh. 
Okay, let me see. I'm just going to read it from Wikipedia, like what it actually means. Surveillance capitalism is an economic system centered around the commodification of personal data with the core process of profit making. Since personal data can be commodified, it has become one of the most valuable resources on earth. The concept of surveil surveillance capitalism, as described by Shannon and Zuboff, arose as advertising companies led by Google's AdWords saw the possibilities of using personal data to target consumers more precisely. Ooh, increased data collection may have various advantages for individuals and society, such as self-optimization. Yeah, societal optimizations such as as by smart cities and optimized services, including various web applications. However, collecting and processing data in the context of capitalism's core profit-making motive might present a danger to human liberty, autonomy, and well-being. Capitalism has become focused on expanding the proportion of social life that is open to data collection and data processing. But half the time, we're not open to it. Half the time, they just take our shit and simulate it and, and feed us back garbage. Like, it is dangerous. This may come with significant implications for vulnerability and control of society as well as for privacy. Eric Snowden, I know y'all seen that movie Snowden. If you haven't, go watch it. Whistleblower, I know y'all heard of him. Yeah, back in 2013, when um, Obama was talking about that, I guess basically they were watching our shit. That's why if you see, I don't know if you can see, you can't see it right now, but fuck that shit. Cover these webcams up, nigga. Y'all don't know who watching you and what data they're collecting from everything that you search. Be careful what you search. We need to stop using Google, okay? You need to go on other, sh other shit. I know there's a bunch of other websites that you can look up stuff. That includes don't go on Google Chrome. Anyways, I feel like I got carried away. But basically, yeah, it's just crazy out here, man. Like, there's a lot of things I'm unsure of, but that's just like two or three of them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done here. You know, this game was amazing. If you guys want to play this, go ahead, tag three friends, repost it on your story or wherever you want to repost it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Again, this is a No Legroom production. We out. Peace, y'all.